Hello everybody, welcome to the NAF World Cup Qualifier 2024 um, preview. So it's actually not the World Cup, it's the World Championships, but you know, we can call it the World Cup. Um, unfortunately, this wasn't promoted very much by NAF, or basically at all. I only found out that it was happening because of Kalon. Um, who messaged me, uh, DM'd me about it. So I, I signed up, you know, even though I'd already qualified um, from Super League because I thought, you know, it's a nice little tournament, isn't it? A NAF-style tournament is, uh, is you know, a bit of fun. So I, I'm here just for the fun. And, uh, yeah, Tree Tree is one of the few, the few players who I'd say has got a decent chance of winning it. It's not the deepest field. Uh, there's, there's a few people, right, probably he's... Well, I'd say there's there's two clear favourites, right, in C Bros and Andy Davo, and then there's a few people bum bubbling under who who've got a shot if you know if they get lucky and uh, you know the others get unlucky. So it, it's interesting. Anyway. So it's very bizarre. The draw was just done by alphabetical for the first round, which really screwed Kale on because he was in between Cold Troop and C Bros. <laughs> so so he had to get one of them, but. Uh, yeah, so it, it's going to be Swiss, um, six rounds of Swiss, I think. I'm not really sure, to be honest. The rule set was something like um, something like Super League, something like Euro Ball. They didn't have stacking, I don't think, or swapping um, skills for cash. And they also made Orcs Tier 2. So the uh, racial breakdown... It's like this, look, as we've got a nice little graphic. Nobody took Underworld at all. <laughs> nobody took Knobs, nobody took Renegades. Uh, the most popular team is Necromantic. They do get quite a nice package for um, NAF style, you know, in that. Uh, I, actually, they're quite nice. I don't like them that much because I would really like the second girl. I, I really rate the second girl for Necros. Um, but I guess, you know, if you get unlucky, you don't win anyway. You don't win the tournament if you get unlucky. So I guess, fair enough, just having one ghoul and just don't get unlucky. Um, so yeah, Necromantic were the number one team there. Skaven. Uh, there, there was actually, there was 50 teams, right? So there were seven Necromantic teams. Uh, sorry, nine Necromantic teams, seven Skaven teams, seven Dark Elves. And then, what is it? Woody's Old World Alliance. Oh dear. Lizards. There are only four Lizard teams out of 50. That's surprising, isn't it? And uh, a few other teams. Only two undead. That's probably the... And only two orcs. I mean, orcs are in tier one instead of tier two. Um, but they're still a good team, right? And it's weird to see so many. I guess Necro are new. Um, but yeah, interesting. Interesting distribution of races. Right, just have a look at every team, I guess. And uh, very briefly look at them, because there's 50 teams. And, uh, you know... I don't want to be here all night. <laughs> so we've got cow, uh, chow. Is that ch I don't know. Is that I don't know even know what that is. There's something, some weird name there, beginning with a C. Dark elves. They've gone with a block, a wrestle, and four dodge blitzers. Very good. Probably should have upgraded one to a assassin, um, just because you know the points are wasted on the assistant coaches. Apo and two rerolls is good. But like, you know, at the end of the day, the stab isn't worth, it isn't worth paying for, for the stab, right? And the plus movement minus AV, that's not worth paying for and the shadowing. It's not worth paying for. But when you're getting it essentially free, the assistant coaches are so unlikely to have an impact on the game. Um, it's essentially free to have an assassin. And I quite like having one for free um, because, you know, it's okay. But yeah, this is pretty standard, right? Max Blodge and Rog, pretty, pretty strong team dark elves yep only level 93 coach so maybe he's a table topper or they are a table topper don't know there could be there could be women playing blood ball you never know stranger things have happened <laughs> not many <laughs> all right and then we, they are up against abf here level 25 coach so another you know either new to blood ball or you know maybe primarily a table topper um, gone for Black Orcs and two Tacklers, two Mighties, two Guards, and a Guard Troll, and two Sneaky Gits. 14 players, three rerolls. I'm not a fan of this build, I'll be honest with you. I would rather just go um, all Guards. And I don't know if a double was... I think a double was possible. 
so I would have had a block troll. So yeah, I would have had I'd have had one sneaky git, block the troll, and then just had six guard. Um, but you know, we'll we'll see. It could be all right. Um, I like that they've gone with the extra goblin rather than the apple. Uh, you know, just just foul things. But obviously, if you lose a black orc, you feel really bad. So um, obviously, big favorite. For uh, for the game is the Dark Elves there. Hello, C Rose. Did you know, C Rose, that the draw was just done alphabetically? <laughs> Nearly. It must have been something to do with when they accepted as well, because Davo was in the last spot and he accepted last, right? He made his team last. Thoron and Davo made their teams last. So so poor old Kalon was screwed because he was either playing Cold Trip or C Bros. Um, but we'll get him soon enough. Now we've got BB Nut here. Uh, what is this? Undead, one of the few undead teams. A blocker, a wrestler, a couple of guarders, a mighty blow and a guard. I really hate the mighty blow blitzer there. I would just make it a tackle, you know, for the crucial games or another guard for the... Like, so a tackle for the crucial blitzers versus elves or skaven or guard for the bashed games. You've already got two strength five mighty blows. You don't really like... what What's a block mighty blow doing? Not much. Um, three rerolls, 13 players. You know, pretty standard. Pretty standard... Uh, undead team, uh, maybe he should have had, you know, another block rather than a wrestle. I don't need really rate wrestle on ghouls, personally. But there you go. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Shanby, yeah. Super interesting, isn't it? So, I mean, yeah, you know, undead are pretty strong. I'd, now, unfortunately, I don't, I don't really know most of the people in this tournament, so I can't really rate how good they are at Blood Bowl. Um, <laughs> just looking at the rosters mostly. So now this is Old World Alliance, oh dear. So a block ogre, a tackle blitzer, a block catcher, leader thrower, guard, 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 and a mighty blow. Um, not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad. I would want another guard, and I would want guard on the uh, ogre. And there's no stacking, is there? I would actually only be taking a World Alliance to stack um, to stack Sneaky Git Dirty Player. It's literally the only reason I take a World Alliance. So I would, I do not endorse the Old World Alliance choice. Uh, but apart from that, an Apo and two rerolls, 14 players. Solid, isn't it? Solid. It does seem vaguely familiar. I mean, I've heard of BB Nut as well, but I mean, I don't know how good they are at Blood Bowl. Having a vaguely familiar name doesn't uh, tell me anything about how good you are at Blood Bowl, does it? Um, big Nate, uh, Woody's here. We've got a stripper, a frenzier, a block, a block, a wrestle, a couple of dodges. Twelve players and three rerolls. I definitely prefer the Apo, um, and would definitely prefer more catches. And I don't hate the frenzy. Because you, you often don't need a tackler, right? Historically, people have gone a stripper and a tackler. And then a lot of the times, the tackles are dead skill. So in Super League, we saw um, Strider take a mighty blow dancer. And, you know, Frenzy is the halfway house between tackle and mighty, isn't it? It's getting you more knockdowns for more AV breaks. And it's getting you more hits to knock down blodgers. So I, I don't hate the Frenzy. Of course, the problem is your strength three Frenzy. So it's a bit rubbish. But then the edge four... You know, makes up for it, and yeah, I, what I would do is I'd want a skill like other things rather than the catches and the throwers and stuff. I, well, I'd rather dodge on the thrower for a start if I'm going to skill him, and then just like more dodge, right? Spam dodge, more catches, more dodge. So I'm uh, not a big fan of this roster. I think Big Nate wasn't level 100 as well, so yeah, who, who knows if these are like table toppers that are just playing on Blood Bowl three, or if they're just beginners. Of course, most table toppers are beginners because uh, most table toppers aren't very good. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, just got to say that's my thing, you know, that's my thing now. Thanks to James um, Hames. Right, so we've got what's this? Call Trip's gone all world alliance. He, he's sick of getting beaten up as humans. Now he wants to get beaten up as all world alliance. And we've got four guards. Uh, hasn't taken guard on him. Hasn't taken guard on him. So he could have had six guard. I would have definitely had six guard. And we've got a block thrower, block catcher, dirty player. I like this more than the other old, old world alliance team. Uh, but still, could have just had two more guards, right? Like I just don't see. If you're going to take 
one mighty blow. You've already got a mighty blow on your ogre. Just take more guard. Like, six guard is the draw of the team for me. For me, I'd be playing this team to have six guard. It seems pretty crazy to not have six guard if you're, if you're making the team. I'm making the team to get six guard. That's literally the hook. Uh, but Call Troop we know from the NAF kickoff event where he was runner-up to, of course, the best... The best Blood Bowl coach ever, the most handsome Blood Bowl coach ever, the just basically my idol. Um, so, you know, that was an incredible, incredible result for him to get second in that. And then, of course, he was in, a, he finished, I think, third in the uh, season two finals and took part in Super League. So, I've seen quite a lot of Call Troop. And he's certainly decent. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we've got. Kalon playing Zebra is amazing. And Kalon has taken Dark Elves. And he's done the newbie mistake of a leader on the uh, runner. This is a common mistake. And uh, what happens is you roll a 1 on a dodge with the runner. And you have to re-roll it because it's his leader re-roll. And then you think, why didn't I just take dodge on this guy? Uh, that dodge on the runner is what K-Fog takes. And I would take what K-Fog takes in general. Apart from that, a block and a wrestle and some dodge is obviously completely normal. Um, I mean, could have just not taken the run at all, right? Could have just taken a, could have just taken an assassin as well. Yep, uh, you could just take an assassin. Yep, or just not take the runner. Yep, yep, yep. Two re rolls, no apple. Gone for the twelfth player. I, I just again, I always prefer the uh, the apple because you can apple KOs. Good chance somebody gets KO'd, then you get impact for the drive. Um, this reserve, you know, may not may, may not impact the match at all. Uh, so we'll see. I, I definitely, you know, I know I know the app isn't as good as it used to be, but it's still I still like it, especially when you've got to pay more for the reserves with elves. And he's up against Seabros. He drew the short straw, and uh, yeah, Seabros has gone for the assassin rather than the runner. And same skills: a block on one witch, wrestle on the other. Dodge on some linemen. He's gone for the the perfectly cromulent choice of an apothecary and two rerolls. So yeah, I definitely prefer big prefer big preference towards Seabro's team and of course Seabro's coaching. So you know, sorry, Kalon. Seabro's uh, is definitely my um, well one of my favourites. I mean, he's not the favourite, of course, but he's he's one of the favourites. One of the right. so for the for, like obviously I would be one of the favourites, but I've already qualified, so I can't get the ticket. So as far as the ticket goes, I think Seabros and Andy Davo are the two favourites. Right now, the next one. This is a NAF tournament that just wasn't advertised at all. <laughs> Basically, um, Diamond. Yep, yeah, they did not. They did not really advertise it. So now we've got. Danton um, with four guard necro, a block wolf, a wrestle wolf, blotch ghoul, 12 players, three rerolls. This is pretty standard. I don't know if this is what I said, but I mean, I think this is what I would make. Looking at it, this is exactly what I'd make a, uh, a block one and a wrestle one. I quite like that, honestly. I, I, I don't know. I, I would. I could also have two block. I don't think it really matters. I think I did do a block one and a wrestle one once, and I either liked it or I hated it. One of the two. Um, <laughs> I can't remember which one I do. So I'd probably, you know, the clever thing would be to look up my vod and see what I won the uh, blitz pit with, and if that was two blocks or one block and one wrestle. Um, but I'd probably just pick one block, one wrestle, and then instantly regret it. Uh, but three reels, yeah, it's a good roster, isn't it? It's a good, it's a good amount of skills and uh, play. You know, the fact they've got seven skills for seven players, it just works out. It works out pretty nicely, doesn't it? The money's just about right. There's nothing wasted. Re really nice for, um, really nice for necromantic. So Danton's decent at blood ball, actually. Danton's uh, error BB, isn't he? And uh, he's up against Doc Hillpower, who is another Old World Alliance? Or is it just, no, it's just humans, it's just humans. I saw the halflings and thought, oh, well, but it's just humans. Okay, humans. Um, strong arm. Okay, level 44. I guess he's a tabletop fun haver. A um, couple of guard, tackle, block, sidestep. 
kick. Okay, it's not like this. I want guard. I want guard, and I want guard, and I want guard, and I want guard, or maybe block on your ogre. Um, yeah, and it's not like you know if it's if it's just for fun, fair enough, but not uh, not something to win with at all. <laughs> That's as polite as I can possibly be, I think. <laughs> I hate Wrestle Wolves in progression right now. I would never take Wrestle in progression, but it's different in NAF, right? Because you, you can have your one with block, does all the blitzing, and then you wrestle. You know, if he has to take down a war dancer who's going to score, you can you can use him for that. Um, oh, yeah, I think you do see, Rose, yeah. So here we go. We've got Doom Fox um, with, again, the usual, the usual max good players. And then only five skills on them with another skill to a rubbish player. In this case, they've gone with a runner. And again, they've gone with a reserve. So going for um, exactly Kaelorn's build, I do prefer... Actually, I, I prefer neither Seabro's nor Kaelorn's build. I would have the Assassin, but have another dodge on the Blitzer and just not care about the Assassin. Just have him as a as a skillless Wood Elf Lino. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's. I've, I've heard of Doom Fox as well. Like you know, I've heard, I've, obviously I've heard of some people in this, but uh, you know, I'm not, I haven't really got a great handle of how good they are at Blood Bowl. So uh, probably best just to look at the teams rather than the coaching. Uh, Doom Fox is up against. Yeah, I might have done that as well, Zebras. Yeah. Right here we go. We've got Dun Barbarian with a thrower. What's this? Skaven. A thrower, a guard blitzer, a tackle blitzer, block, dirty player, sneaky git, and sidestep. Okay. Um, and a juggernaut. Glorious. Not what I would have done. Um, <laughs> Thank you very much, Christopher V. I will defend. Oh, it's wrestle. It's wrestle, it's not DP. Sorry. Sorry, I don't know why I said DP. That's wrestle. I, I just saw the sneaky git, and that just made me must have made me think about it. So, the sneaky git, I'm not a fan of. Uh, thank you very much, Christopher. He's staying fantastic for 16 glorious months. Yep, a terrible analysis. So yeah, I'll, I, that's okay, right? You've got the sidestep for the one turn. You've got the block to carry. You've got the wrestle um, to you know take down, and then you've got the sneaky git to try and high roll. No rogue. Oh, there is a rogue. It's just hidden. It's hidden. And he's got Juggernaut, so yeah, that's, that's good for the one turn. Three rerolls, no Apple, 13 players. Oh, I hate this. This is so easy to, to not see. Um, so yeah, that, that's okay, right? It's a, it's a Skaven team. I don't have much opinion on Skaven teams. I would have probably rather had an extra wrestle, right, rather than sneaky get. Try and do something. Or even a stripper. Uh, who knows? Um, so that's that much, right? Next one, we've got... Everson ZGZ ZGZ with uh, Necro Sausages. Ah, so we've gone for the extra ghoul here, but at the cost of a reroll. This is see this is the thing. 13 players is pretty good. But and two ghouls is really good, but two rerolls is really bad. Uh, you probably have to go three rerolls, honestly. Um so yeah, block fleshy is great. Uh, you know, block all guard is fine. Block fleshies are like better versus like the softer things like the Skaven and stuff. And Guard are better versus the fighty things like the Orcs and the Lizards. So I, I personally prefer Guard. Um, but Block's, you know, totally fine. Block on both Wolves, Guard on both Wraiths, obviously. Block on a Ghoul. I mean, this is so standard, right? Uh, you would imagine every single every single Necro team will have two Guard Wraiths, obviously. A Blodge, run, a blodge Ghoul, of course. And then two either block and guard. Oh, you could have one block, one guard. And then the wolves, probably two block, maybe one block, one wrestle. Uh, and then the only bone of contention is whether to go 13 players or three rerolls. I mean, the, the ghoul is just such a good player. I'd be really tempted to go three. Three. Uh, so you. Oh, God. Right. I can't. I can't actually kill it. Because, oh, yes, I can. Okay. I am a, I am luckily a mod. With my other, my second account is a mod. Right. Um. So that's that team Necro. Lots of Necro about here, which is surprised to see a lot of Skaven, right? Because you know Necro counts Skaven pretty hard. So this is uh, 
Why is there so many old world lions? What is with table toppers? They're loonies. <laughs> They're absolute loonies. <laughs> a pro ogre. Oh, that's terrible. Um, mighty blow, guard, block, block, tackle, wrestle, sneaky git. Oh, dear. Not what I would have done. Um, you know, let's hope he has fun. Or they have fun. Sorry, I'm trying... I'm trying to be PC, okay. I'm trying to be PC. Right, so there we go. Um, and then next up, we've got the the obviously the absolute tournament favourite here, up against Gaffis with uh, Skaven. He's got a. They've got a Juggernaut Ratoga guard. I don't really like the tackle, but I mean, it's it's okay. Got some t use in this game. Uh, leader, thrower, blocker, a wrestler, and a sprinter, not a sidestepper. I think sidestep's just better, right? Because it gives you, it can actually get you some one turns with the rogue that you couldn't get even with sprint. Um, depending on how people send up, set up and stuff. Two rerolls, thirteen players, and an apple, so very durable, but not very, uh, not very many rerolls. That's interesting. I guess he's got the third from the thrower, but still. That's interesting, isn't it? Super interesting. Uh, but, you know, pretty standard. Pretty standard Skaven team. And he's up against the absolute. The juggernaut of Blood Bowl. The greatest player who's ever lived. Better than Corfu. It's Jimmy Fantastic. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, I just went with boring, boring, boring lizards. Of course, Purple Cobras, though. And uh, they are, of course... Michelle, my good friend, Fran. <laughs> rich, rich, rich. We got laser, they got blazers, they got tasers, all kinds of easers. And there you go. So I really liked, honestly, I just really like, I just really like dodgeball. And I didn't care about, you know, anything that happened in this tournament. So I might as well just take this. I could have gone two rerolls and uh, the other skink, but I thought without, uh, without overtime, you know, I've got to win in normal time, so I'd rather have re-rolls to push my luck and try and win in overtime. Yeah, Skaven are a pretty, uh, Skaven are a pretty uh, rough matchup, you know, in terms of doing anything the gutters. Um, of course, I should smash his line rats, etc. But at the end of the day, his gutters can always roll some dice, so it's probably going to be, it's probably going to be a a you know not success. <laughs> Not success for me here, but you know, I, I, look, I like lizards and I never play them. And you can only really play lizards for fun in Nasta, right? You can't play them for fun in Ladder as much. Although Seabros had success in them because the uh, Miss Next Game cycle, you know, Death Spiral is is pretty annoying in Ladder. So I won't be playing lizards outside of outside of Naf Resurrection probably ever again. So you know, might as well have some fun with Six Block Saurus, yeah. Right, now we've got Guanab with another more dark. There's a lot of Dark Elves, isn't there? This is again the Kalon build. Oh no, except they've dropped the... They, rather than having 12 players, they've gone Apo, Cheerleader, Resistant Coach. So slight variation, but this seems very popular. The, um, the leader runner and, uh, you know, three and two. Interesting. Not terrible. Like, it's all six and two threes, isn't it, between Dark Elf builds. They're all much of a muchness. Up against Kalik. Looks like Lizards. Oh, six blocks. Brilliant. Uh, they've gone with the uh, 12th player rather than the third reroll. And that's six and two threes as well. I, if there was overtime, I'd definitely go the 12th man. But without overtime. Wait, there wasn't six blocks. I didn't even look. Oh, yeah, it's five blocks, one wrestle. I didn't even look. I didn't even look. I literally just saw the lizards and all the blue and just assumed he'd be normal and go six block. Well, I don't like five block and one wrestle. <laughs> right. Now we've got Krolix with, uh, what does, brain worms? Oh, it's, it's, uh, pro elves. Oh, not what I would have done. Um, a dodger, a tackler, some dodgers. Just rubbish, isn't it? It's not wood elves. Just rubbish would just never, ever, 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 ever want to use Pro Elves when you can use Wood Elves. So no offence, Krolix. Could be a great player. Could be a lovely ch lovely 
chap or chapette or non-binary bloodball coach, whatever they are, um, I hope they enjoy pro elves and face masks because they should have taken a wood elf team. <laughs> right. Um, if they wanted to win more, basically. Now, Christopher B., I know is a he, um, has clan rat linemen. This is a Skaven team. Uh, we've got a Rogue with Juggernaut, two guard. I like the two guard blitzers. Leader thrower is pretty standard. Wrestle block sidestep is also pretty standard. So this is this is a pretty standard team, isn't it? Um, have gone for a bit more durability with the Apo, 13 players and two rerolls. I would have probably gone three. And I know you've got the leader as well. I still feel like I'd want to push for the third reroll, right? Make things happen because you have to win. You like you have to win every game, right, to, to win the tournament. So in normal time, you have to win every single game in normal time to win the tournament. So that that leans me towards more rerolls and less reserves and, you know, roll some dice to make things happen. Um, but yeah, apart from that, and still fine, right? He's still got three rerolls. So yeah, decent decent build from Chrissy B. Taught in Aaron everything he knows. Right, now we've got level 100 Magic Arp. Brilliant. Brilliant coach name. Uh, oh, we've got a dodge and a block wolf. Okay, well, I immediately don't like this. 11 players for three rerolls. This is something as well that I thought about that you could do. But 11 players, is just it's just not it, is it? Um, I feel like it's much better to go 12 players and, you know, drop a ghoul down to a zombie and have 12 players. Um... But you really want two ghouls, don't you? So it's tough. And I'm obviously, guard and the wraith, guard and the flesh is good. I'm, I don't like the dodge wolf. I think a block and a wrestle is fine. But uh, I don't. I don't like the dodge wolf. So there you go. Not a level 100 coach. There's an awful lot of not level 100 coaches. It makes you wonder if they're just casual players who signed up, or like you know, table toppers, or, or what. But um. Not you know a shocking lack of level hundred player. Here we go, Minerva, level hundred, and we've got another. We've got another elf enthusiast. No idea why anybody would take Elven Union. Answers in a postcard, please. What on earth is appealing about this team when you could just have Wood Elves, which are approximately seventeen times better at Blood Bowl? So, yeah, not what I would have done. Who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> right. Uh, now we've got Misspell Tree. Of course, everyone will know Misspell Tree. Well, maybe it's not everyone. Everyone, most people, surely will know Misspell Tree. Um, and it's the Kalon build. Oh no, it's not. Not actually the Kalon. No, no, it is the exact Kalon build. Twelve players. The exact Kalon build. Uh, you know, it must be popular on tabletop. Kalon does like to use his carb, you know, cookie cutter carbon copies of teams. No thinking, we'll leave that on a shelf and just mindlessly use the net lists. And maybe Misspell Tree subscribes to that mentality as well. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I really, I, I, I don't know. I just, I don't like leaving a skill off the blitzer. Honestly, I, I feel like I'd want six blodgers. Um, Oh, two wrestlers, so a little bit different. Two wrestlers, actually, not the same as Kalon. Two wrestles. Um, but yeah, you know, Miss Beltree's decent, and she could do okay. But uh, I would say, you know, below Sea Brawls, Dave or Jim. <laughs> um, no offense. Right, Mudara here with Necromantic. We've gone two guard wraiths. We've gone a garden of block fleshes. So split the fleshes. I don't hate that. A block and a wrestle wolf. I don't hate that either. And uh, yeah, I, I don't hate this team. It's a necro team. I think this is the way you've got to build it. And you're 12 players, three rerolls, and only one ghoul. It really sucks only getting one ghoul. But I feel like you have to. Yeah, there's a lot of dark elves and, and necros. Yeah. Yeah, but I look, there's a uh, Chrissy B made me a nice little thing, and you can see a lot of Skaven, a lot of Necro, a lot of Dark Elves, and then apart from that, nice 
split. Mush called Frankenstein's. Oh wow, it's necromantic. What a surprise. Couple of blocks, split the fleshies, guards, block, three rerolls. Perfect. Yep. Wow, that is that is that is interesting, Dion Lord. I I guess it's an option to only have one wolf, but I mean because yeah, one like a rookie wolf, I think is just straight up worse than a wook a wookie than a rookie uh I feel like a rookie werewolf is just literally a worse player than a rookie ghoul. Regardless of TV, just on the pitch, I'd rather have a rookie ghoul than a rookie wolf. So now, if you go with one skill, how much difference does that make, really? Because having Blodge is really good, isn't it? Or Rog, so yeah, and the fact it gets you an extra player as well. I wouldn't call it wrong, DML, I wouldn't call it wrong. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty nice team, yeah, pretty nice team. Frankenstein. Well, the coach isn't Frankenstein. The, the team is called Frankenstein's. <laughs> Mushkin is the coach. And then we've got... Uh, is this is this a German? Nachtwach 82? I don't know. What's wrong with people? I mean, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sure they love playing Blood Bowl and doing passes and uh things brilliant brilliant but um not what i would do so pro elves can be good if they get like doubles and stuff right if they're tearing get some doubles and you get to have blodge blodge guard blitzers right if you get stack preferably stack blodge guard blitzers good not stacking blodge guard blitzers why aren't they wood elves is that that's the thing right like you have to just like them and you know, it's different in tabletop because, of course, you've got to buy the team and play with the team, paint them and everything, right? So in tabletop, and I guess, so I guess these could be tabletopers, and that's what they play on tabletop, and they come here. But, you know, um, it just seems like if you've got the choice between Pro Elves and Wood Elves, mechanically, I just don't see a point in ever taking You know, like, the, the Pro Elves need a leg up on the tiering to, for me. Uh, Orcs are tier one, but they were they were just being ignored by everybody. Uh, <laughs> right, so here we go. We've got Niagara with the standard block wrestle three dodge leader twelve players two rerolls. Again, I yeah. What can you say? It's the Kalon build, carbon copied. Everybody's using it. Must be a tabletop standard. God knows why. <laughs> Right, <laughs> 10 car, level 34 coach, um, 4 block begins, oh dear, this could have been 4 guard, guard begins, well if these 4 blocks were 4 guard, this would be a great roster, but they're not, <laughs> so it's not, <laughs> um, but yeah, 12 players, 3 rerolls, I, put, I like not having the troll, um, but I do not like not having guard. Six guard. Six guard would be my team. 100%. It would be four guard biggins and two guard blitzers. No, you couldn't You couldn't split the biggins. Biggins, four guard biggins. It's all about... I'm, I'm max. I'm max guards. I'm max guards. I, 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 I would max guard every team. There is no team that I would not pick the maximum amount of guards. Literally none. Every, every single team... In almost every single NAF format, I am just maxing guards. That is the only thing. Almost every team. Almost every team. Lizards is the only one. I'm playing the only one where I'm not maxing guards. And every other team, I max guards. 100%. So there you go. And that includes Necro. Right. Um, wait, was that 10 car? I've, I've literally forgotten. Yeah. Right. Literally forgot instantly. Um, I would never play Skaven, Christopher B. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, Pybot. <laughs> Skeleton Rescue Squad, but it's necromantic. Um, 
split the block and the guard, guard guard, block wrestle, blodge, three rerolls. Pretty standard. Pretty standard. Unexciting, but uh, you know. Up against Raven with a block roger. Mighty Blow Blitzer, Tackle Blitzer, Sidestep Wrestle Block, and only three gutters. I hate this build. I, You have to have four gutter runners. It's the law. That is what your team is. Your, your team is four gutter runners. <laughs> that is non-negotiable. So do not like this. There you go. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it, Seabros? The nerf. Double nerf as well, right? Because there's no... Uh, well, they, they did actually... They did allow inducements, and somebody took a bribe, I think, or, or a babe. Like, maybe maybe the Black Hawk team or something. Some One person took an inducement. But, um... Yeah. Right. Uh, now we've got Ron Windu versus Ronnie McKee. Okay. No idea who these are. Roger Jugs, Guard, Blitzer, only one guard, should have had two. Um, block, Wrestle, Wrestle, Strip, and a leader. It's kind of alright, it's kind of alright, but you know, not setting the world on fire. Again, gun max durability with 13 players and an apple. It's alright. Yeah, don't be ridiculous, Dimmy. As if I'd ever take Corn or Chaos or Nurgle. Like, you, you can't just name teams that nobody with a functioning brain would ever take. <laughs> oh, you took Nurgle once, didn't you? Sorry. Sorry, Dimmy. Right, um, <laughs> we've got Undead here. Um, left the skills off the mummies and put them on the ghouls. I quite like that, actually. It's okay. But if you're going to do that, you want Guard on your white here. You want guard. You see, he's taken a skill that isn't guard on a strength access player. Bad. Should have been guard. Block, block. Wrestle's okay. Show hands are okay. But honestly, probably four block better. Just blodge everything and let your opponent try and find the answers. Um, but yep, decent. Decent. Well, anything's possible, isn't it, Seabros? Uh, with variants and matchups. It is what it is. Right, now we've got Shamba. Oh, look how lucky Shamba is. He's got a console coach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, won the jackpot here. Shamba's won the jackpot, getting a bye. Oh, wonderful. Look at that. Lizards, 11 players, 3 rolls. So, same build as me. Max block, Lizards. Uh, three reroll, max block, three reroll lizards. So yep, yep, exactly the same team build. But I, I've, I've got to try and beat Skaven, whereas Shanva gets to beat beat a uh, console coach, a level six coach, of course, because it's it's cross it's cross platform now, but not cross progression. So um, that does suck a bit for the console people. And I'm only joking, of course. I'm only joking with the console digs. Of course, there's no reason for console players to be worse than PC players. They just are. Um, right, so, not taking a skill on this fleshy. What? Oh, because of two ghouls and skilling both of them. Sure hand, sneaky, block, dodge, guard, mighty blow. Hate this build. This is the only build that's diverged from, you know, guard on both wraiths. Guard or block on both fleshies. Uh, do not do not like this build at all. Um, and we'll probably get wrecked by Shamba. Yeah, winning a game with Korn is like finishing third, Dimmy. And then we've got Silver Tash. Um, with... Orcs. <laughs> Took me a minute. <laughs> Not what I've done. 32, but cross plat. Um, leader, sneaky, block guard, mighty tackle. It's an, So there's two orc teams in this tournament. 
There are only two Orc teams in this entire tournament, and they have three guard between them. Wow. <laughs> Not what I would have done. But who can say if it's good or bad? Rhythm is it answer. Tulian? Got War Dancer, made the correct decision to go uh, Wood Elves and not Pro Elves. Um, dodge, Dodge, Wrestle, Wrestle. Apo, two re rolls. Not terrible, is it? Um, it we, we, using the actual rules for Euro Bowl, um, Core came up with a great idea of dropping a skill to get more money. Which that is definitely a build I'd do if I could. Without being able to do that, I'd probably make something something similar to this. You know, the sidestep to help with the one turn. Could go guard on the tree, actually. Guard on the tree probably is over the sidestep. Um, I don't think you really need the sidestep for the one turn. So just take... Because you've lost the one turn anyway, right? The, the, so that's This is a bit of a relic from when the catchers had sprint. So now they don't. You don't really have a good one turn. So the sidestep for the one turn has lost value. So it's just guard. Uh, strip tackles fine and then skills here so there you go um but yeah you know fine fine it's a it's a wood elf team so and diamond here saying about not taking orc right this is not like a knockout right it's swiss so you have to win in 16 turns so that's that's made everybody go for more necro that are more high roly and dark elves where you can use more um Dark Elves, where you can, you know, you can win in 16 turns, right? You can use your coaching advantage to more reliably turn close games into wins, whereas Orcs, you just can't go for the wins. We, you know, we had, we saw lots of draws with Orcs. You didn't even know. Brilliant, Chandler. Brilliant, yeah. Right, we're on page two. We're getting there. We're getting there. Right. Toponymias, oh my god, versus Whirly Dervish. Right, so yeah, there's no overtime in these games, which which does make a difference. Um, oh god, old world with blocks, with loads of block, a mighty blow of guard. Hate this team. Hate this team. Yuck. Not what I would have done. Who can say if it's good or bad? Okay, not a judgment on the player, their coaching ability, their personality, nothing like that. Just don't like the build. Uh, is this Wood Elves? Yep. Wrestle, tackle, don't like kick, would have gone wrestle. Don't like blodging the catchers, would have gone dodgers, linemans. Don't like the thrower at all. Definitely don't like giving him leader. <laughs> Uh, double for block, don't like. <laughs> so yeah, don't really like much about this team. But yeah, still Wood Elves, right? And if you play well, they're going to do well. Yeah, yeah, the ugly teams lose points as well. Right. Oh, this looks a Spanish team, doesn't it? Ziet versus Yardstick. Right, what have we got? Hasn't skilled a fleshy. Guard, guard, block, 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 block. So lots and lots of block, but yeah, losing this third reroll for that extra ghoul and losing a guard fleshy to do it as well. So not great. I'm not I don't do not fully endorse this build. Giving up guard player. <laughs> giving up guard is is just not not gonna cut it for me. Oh, they're they're playing right now. Oh wow. Okay. Maybe maybe they've got to have their result updated. Um, so this is a sneaky get death roller. Oh my god. <laughs> it's dwarves with a sneaky get death roller. <laughs> two mighty blow slayers. <laughs> and two guard blitzers. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's terrible, <laughs> but it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. Uh, we'll give him that. We'll give him that. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. And uh, right. Zonrex Kalariki versus Tua. 
this uh, this person really didn't want to play Andy Dave on the first round. <laughs> uh, so, oh, it's chaos. Block, block, guard, guard. Block, minnow. Sure hands, tackle. I mean, it's garbage, isn't it? This is not a package that makes you want to take chaos. I don't know what the package would need to be to make me want to take chaos, but it would have to be insanely good. And this is not it. This is trash. Like, orcs just crucify this. Just, um, just pointless. But again, you know, maybe they like chaos, etc., etc. Not judging them as people. <laughs> uh, versus. Woody's. Oh, God. Okay, so Woody's versus Chaos. <laughs> Good night, Chaos. Uh, yeah, don't really. Yeah, so again, you know, we've been through this. Don't like the sidestep anymore. Sidestep on catchers. Trash, because they lost, they've lost sprint. I didn't know they had sprint, um, despite what Dimmy will have you believe. Grab tree. So they've actually leaned into the, the one turn a little bit with the grab tree and the sidestep catcher, but then they don't have a thrower to deliver it. So they're not really like... It's not a very reliable one turn. They don't have sprint. It's just it's just so much worse than it used to be. It's just I don't know. I just got to take some wrestle and some dodge, and uh, be happy. Yep. Maybe I started off more balanced at the start, and now as time has gone on, I'm just like this is rubbish. But I, I don't know. It's it, you know the, there's been quite a few teams to go through, right? Hammer Breaker versus X. Oh no, it's Adger versus Danny 2019. Oh my god, they're playing a five year old? Jesus. Right. Ogre is humans. Guard, guard, guard. This one isn't guard. This one isn't guard. Why? Who knows? Block, block. That's fair enough, isn't it? So yeah, apart from these two not being guard, this is. Uh, it's decent and it's humans. Like I, I wouldn't take humans, but people like them. You know, you you get some skills, you get rerolls, apo players. Like I can see why people might think they're good, and then you play like orcs, and you're just like, oh, why have I, why have I done this to myself? <laughs> I have no avenue to win. <laughs> and then you think, aha, you play a scaven, you're like, oh, I've got a, I've got a chance to win now. But they're still scaven, and they've taken like a powerful team, and you you just haven't taken a powerful team with humans. And he's up against Gaven. So, you know, he's got the good racial matchup, right? So, he should be laughing. He's got a tackle that they hit the gut gutters that have got block and wrestle and a tackle and a claw rattle. Yeah, I don't like it. This is another build that just... just no, man, you need two guard blitzers. You need two guard blitzers. You need them if you want to hit anything, ever. You need... You need guard. Um, so, yeah, I'm not a fan of this team. Um, but... You know, who knows? <laughs> right. And then we've got... Oh, here we go. Patrick Balcony. He was, like, very high up on the ladder. I don't know if he won the ladder or not, but he was very high up all season with min-max dwarves. So, um... Be interesting to see him in action. Ah, so now we've got the runner and the assassin on this team here. And... Uh, an Apo, two re-rolls, leader for three, and block wrestle, dodge, dodge, dodge. So yeah, I don't know why then. Oh yeah, so some people have given up the assassin to get a, a, a reserve rather than, I don't know. I think, I think this is better. I, I want more power on the pitch. I really don't like the reserve builds, honestly. I'd definitely rather have an Apo and more power on the pitch. So I don't hate this at all. But I assume Patrick Balcony will have Dwarves, seeing as that is what he was playing all season. Oh god, it's Old World Alliance. Okay, guard is a good start. Guard, 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 guard. Should have been guard. <laughs> silly, silly tackler. Should have been guard. But it was looking so good till that point. Um, block thrower, skillless catcher, and two random block linemen. I feel like it's much better to make this catcher a bludger, or even a sneaky git. Or like, st I don't think, no, I don't think stacking was in this, just doubles. Um, but yeah, 
it's all right. It's all right. 14, but only two rerolls. Um, 14 players and an apple. The tree. Uh, the tree lets you get more players. So I, I, I don't hate the tree. Like I feel like the ogre is almost better, but like strength six is really good, isn't it? But rooting is really bad. Six and two threes really. Um, is but this has got timber, right? So it can get up, but it still roots and still just stays in place. I've never seen the timber icon before. I never noticed it before. So yeah, I'm not a fan of all well. There's so many all well alliance in this tournament. I think they're crazy. I think they're crazy. Not what I would have done. Yeah, at least there's no knobs. Right, a Gurk versus Loidal. Uh, Woody's, no tree. Guard catcher, okay. Lock catcher. Not skilling a dancer. A stripper. Wrestle, wrestle, kick. It's random, isn't it? It's pretty random. It's not. It's not what I would have done. <laughs> Sorry, Dimmy. Knobs are rubbish. Um. <laughs> Sorry, they're, they're really not OP. They're literally the worst. Get the worst team in Blood Bowl three. The worst team in the game on knobs. It's not. It's not. You know. It's not my fault. It's just reality. And he's got a console coach for the buy here. <laughs> a block roger, a mighty blow blitzer, a sprint gutter, block, strip, safe pass. <sighs> Ugh. Oh dear. I should have got the Homer Simpson retreating into the hedge gif and I could have played it just for that, just for that skill pick. But I don't have it, but you can imagine it. You can imagine it. That's, oof. You know, nothing wrong with being a fun haver. Good for him. And then, saving the second best for last, we've got Thoron versus Andy Davo. And uh, we've got a Crox there with Block. Block, block, guard, guard. So yeah, it hasn't gone six block, Saurus, uh, which is wrong. Um, <laughs> two rerolls and Napo. Yeah, that's about as bad as you can make a Lizardman team. Well done. <laughs> well done. Well done, console coach. <laughs> and he's up against Davos' team. Is this what everybody expects? Guard, 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 block, block, block. Yes, it is. This is... Absolute cookie cutter, absolute 100% standard necro. Um, I guess, you know, you could argue for splitting the guard and the block. Um, but the, see, the thing about splitting the guard and the block is, you. I think it's wrong because like you're just hedging your bets, right? At the end of the day, one of them has to be right. I, I can't see how a block and a guard is right. Either the block helps you out more in the matches where you need block, or the guard helps you more in the matches that you need guard, right? Like, I feel it has to be double guard or double block. I feel like you just have to make that call. And so block guard kind of kind of does that a little bit. Like, you know, it kind of hedges your bet, and you, you, you know, you're, you're a little bit better in the maybe the matches that it's worse. So like, the matches that block block is bad in, then you're a little bit better, and the matches that guard guard is worse in, you're a little bit better in. So, so, so maybe splitting isn't so bad. Okay, okay, maybe splitting isn't so bad. It's like less high risk, less reward. So maybe it's okay, yeah. Maybe actually, maybe splitting is good. <laughs> but then it's also kind of skill in intensive as well, right? To get the block in the right place and the guard in the right place, which is also, and also like look dependent. I feel like if guard's better, you just take two guard, and and then they've always got guard. And they're all, you know, it's very hard to get the right player, the exact player you need. This is one of the bad things about tackle, right? Like oh, everyone, oh, I've got a tackle so I can hit gutters. 
Well, guess what? Guess what, wise guy? If you've got a tackle to hit a war dancer, you do realise they've got ten other elves that can dodge on twos and base your guy with tackle, so now he can't blitz the guy with dodge, right? Like, it's not... <laughs> It's not hard. So, um, so yeah, I'm not a big fan of, like, a specialised tackle player like that and stuff. And the problem with bl splitting a block and a guard is maybe his one will be in the wrong place every time. Whereas if you've got both guard or both block, they'll be in the right place because every place is the right place. And uh, obviously guard on these is a no-brainer. Block on this is a no-brainer. Um, and block on one wrestling. I really don't hate wrestling either. I think I don't hate it. I, I at least... I at least Gave it some thought to the wrestle on the on the second wolf, but um, there you go. Tables called it NAF BB3 World Cup team, not World Cup qualifier team. So he's very confident he's going to win this, and uh, I think I think he's definitely the favourite. I am just because I've already qualified. <laughs> Let me get that out of the way. I've already qualified, so I can't qualify from this. So to qualify, I would definitely say C Bros, myself, and Andy are the three best players. And then there's a few bubbling under there that, that you know, that, that, that aren't too far behind. So um, there you go. Try not to spoil it, Chrissy B. Right, so there you go. That's uh, that's all 50 games. Um, I might do some of them, you know, from each round. Maybe it's like the more interesting matches from each round. Or like the people that we know and stuff. Um, might do some re replays if someone says. Like, you know, m might do like Kalon versus Seabros, you know. Because that's obviously like a pretty good one. Um, yeah, roll the Dorf game, um, and of course my game will be on tomorrow, and uh, that'll be on Twitch and YouTube and stuff. And uh, yep, so there you go. That's it. Should be interesting. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.